what happens with a built car. You get stuck on the side of the road. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? Welcome back again for another episode. Excited to have you guys here. Today we have Demetrius with his Built Speed 3 coming over the house to work on a couple things, and we're gonna get a little bit of an update on it, on where he's at now with the break-in process and how everything's running, so stay tuned. So you, you can see they just pulled in, got the car jacked up. Um, basically what we're going to be doing is uh, checking a few things out. Uh, it sounds to me like he's having some sort of boost leak. Um, he's having trouble targeting his boost pressure right now. Uh, so we're going to rip apart some stuff and check out some couplers um, and get some stuff cleaned up. But the car is running well. Um, he actually put it on the dyno. Uh, this past weekend just to get some baseline numbers uh, with you know only about two maps two revisions into his port injection tune and put down about 470 to the wheels um, and he ain't even close to being turned up yet so he was at about what 25 24 25 PSI. 24 25 psi and this thing is going to be around 40 pounds hopefully 40 so pounds. This thing's definitely going to eat a lot and it's going to be nuts. So uh, we're just going to be tackling some stuff here tonight. Um, he's actually leaving out of town for a little bit. So he wanted to get this stuff done and checked out so he can A, continue his tuning process and get the car running tip top, make sure it's good to go. Uh, if you guys have seen my live video I did the other day, I actually got another um, cylinder head for the MS8 build. Um, this thing is super clean. Um, this was in somebody's storage unit that they didn't end up needing it anymore, so they just gave it to me. It's missing uh, a few valves, but underneath the valve cover is like extremely spotless. It's nuts. Um, I just can't believe how clean this thing is. It's awesome. Uh, just the, the amount of support we're getting on this build is absolutely nuts, and I love it. There's a lot of things coming this week and next week for the MS8 build, and I'm telling you this month is gonna be crazy with getting this thing together. Uh, I wouldn't doubt that we have um, the engine mounted in the car by the end of the month. So, uh, lots to come on that, but let's get back to Demetrius' car and, uh, take a look at what's going on. We're going through and tightening up all the, uh, couplers on the intercooler piping to see if that does the trick, if we find a, a loose one somewhere. But he actually, uh, if you guys see this, he actually had to get um, brackets welded for the fuel rail. Um, so he had to he had to unpretty his manifold for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it was so pretty. <laughs> Downpipe's coloring nicely. Everything looks good back there. Ooh, ooh. Gotta make sure I get, keep it pretty for all my during fans. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys have been asking for updates on this thing, so he needed to come over and uh, wrench on some stuff and said, yeah, come on over. Everybody's been asking about the car, so let's give you guys a small update on it here and see what's going on. All right, so basically what he's having is he's supposed to be targeting 26 pounds of boost, and he was, and now he's targeting about or he's still targeting 26, but he's holding about 23. Uh, so he thought he had a leak going on, but generally when you have a leak, you see some fluctuation in the boost pressure um, with issues with it holding at a certain uh, PSI. Um, so we're going through, checking all the intercooler piping and stuff like that. Another thing you guys wanna make sure you do um, it, when you're checking through everything is not to forget about um, all your vacuum lines. Um, the littlest, littlest slit in a, in a hose can cause 
major issues that could be impossible to track down if you don't know what you're looking for. Um, so if anybody's having like boost issues or they're seeing their, their boost pressure drop under full load or something like that, you know, don't just stop at the intercooler piping and stuff like that. Make sure you're going through and checking, you know, little stuff like the hoses from your blow off valve to your intake manifold and the boost source that comes off the turbo to the, um, boost controller, stuff like that. You just need to go through everything with a fine tooth comb and make sure that everything's straight and that you have no issues. Um, and then from there you can do some further diagnosing if you're having the issue, but that's a generally a great starting point, um, that, you know, anybody with, you know, little or a lot of car knowledge can go through and check. All right. So we finished up checking everything. Uh, everything looks great. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things buttoned up in here, but, uh, I think it's time we go uh, take a rip in this thing and see uh, how it's feeling. Disclaimer, it's not at full power yet. So everybody that says, oh, it's a built motor, 6466 with port injection, it looks slow. It's getting there. Tuning is a process and there's things that come with it, but uh, he's gonna take me a rip for it now because he's gonna be out of town for a while. So let's go see what this thing does. to uh, Mexico it's a long road trip we've been on the road for <laughs> probably about a couple hours now <laughs> so we're cruising out letting the car warm up do its thing and uh, we'll get some poles in happens with a built car you get stuck on the side of the road I guess I didn't tighten it all the way Dude, dude, she didn't want to stop, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, we need more. We need more numbers on the tech. <laughs> Damn, dude, she's eating, bro. She feels good. It, it feels healthy. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just kind of bugging me about the whole. Maybe he just needs to freaking adjust the tune or something. Yeah, I mean, it, the the tuning process is it's a little bit at a time. He's gonna. It's, some things are gonna go one way, and you might go a step back, and then he has to adjust some stuff. But I think you're on a good track, man. Yeah. So we just got back for taking the car for a rip, and oh my god, it is moving, and it's only at 24 pounds of boost. Now, mind you, he has a full top end of the motor done. He has cams, all that stuff. So his car will bury 8,000 RPMs all day long, and you can feel it. The power is there all the way through the top. It is nuts. Um, definitely a fun ride. Definitely more to come on this car. Uh, thanks for coming over, D. Appreciate it. We'll see more of you. And, uh, yeah, the car's running really good. It seems super healthy, super strong. Uh, he's over here on his laptop right now. He's actually getting ready to send logs that we took out to his, uh, tuner. And, uh, maybe get another revision on the way and, uh, up the boost and power a little bit and keep on sending it. But I appreciate you guys stopping in. It's been awesome having you guys. Stay tuned. We got more coming on the RX-8. It's going to be hot and heavy this month. Got a lot of stuff coming in. Uh, but until next time, guys, we will see you later.